everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, post, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, some links down below. Please go down there and click that link to my link tree. It has all of my social medias, uh, my YouTube pages. Um, please go there. Follow me across those social media pages. <clears throat> my blog talk page is there as well, as my iTunes is there as well. Please follow all of my content. Uh, follow me again across all my social media platforms. I love going back and forth with you folks. So, you know, please go down there and, uh, you know, follow all of those links to turn on your notifications for all of those links as well. I also have a link to the Susie G. Komen Foundation down there as well. That's a fundraiser that I've started. I've partnered with the Susie G. Komen Foundation this year uh, to, you know, fight against breast cancer. Breast cancer, we're coming to knock you out. Uh, so anything that you can give, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, it's greatly appreciated. You know, any donation, big or small, it all matters. So please go down there and give whatever you can. Um, and again, that money goes directly to the Susie G. Komen Foundation. I just want to thank everyone that has donated. I want to thank everyone that will donate. Um, and I also want to thank everyone as well that, that joins me on my, uh, my live streams and my live radio show. I really appreciate you folks. So with all that said and put to the side, this is a video I've really been dreading. Um, <laughs> and now I will talk to you folks about the Jets losing to the Denver Broncos 37 to 28. This this was this game was really a, it was a it was a heartbreaker. I mean, it really took it out of me. That's why it's taken a little bit for me to do this uh, to do this video because I was just beside myself. There's just there's you, you know how as as football fans, right? Often, even if you're a fan of a team that's not doing well, you can always look, you know. To your left or to your right and you can say well yeah we're bad but at least we're not those those guys we're not that team you know that team is terrible that's you know worst team in the league without a shadow of a doubt we are the worst team in the league there's no doubt about it we went into a game with the denver broncos team that was as banged up as you get i mean they were as banged up as you get as injury plagued as you get, they were missing corners, they were missing Von Miller, they were missing starting, just guys across the board. They were missing a ton of starters in, that got injured. I think Noah Fant got injured during the game as well. And they still found a way with a third string quarterback who was undrafted, getting his first start on the road, they still found a way to put up 37 points on us. I'm going to start with the defense. I'm going to hit a couple of points because I am disgusted by the New York Jets. And I am embarrassed to be a fan. This is rock bottom for me. I am completely embarrassed to be a fan of this organization. I'm embarrassed to own Jets gear. I'm embarrassed that I have Jets jerseys. I'm embarrassed that I have friends and family that know I'm a Jets fan. I am embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. This team makes me sick. I'm going to start with the defense. This defense just... You had... This defense made Rippin, uh, the third-string quarterback. That guy was just out there chucking the ball around. He was finding guys left and right. There was guys open. We, couldn't, we just couldn't stop anything. We couldn't get anything done. He was just torching us. Just torching us. And then when he wasn't the one torching us, chucking the ball around, just finding guys running and just catching the football, we were torching ourselves. We were killing ourselves with penalties. This defense was so undisciplined. So undisciplined. It was ridiculous. They were so undisciplined. Ridiculous. They had 11 penalties for 118 yards. Quentin Williams, two, two big penalties to extend drives. You had Ogletree that had a penalty to extend a drive. I mean, guys, there was just so many roughing the passers. Just, just left and right. It was like we could not stop. We just could not stop. We couldn't stop helping them. We couldn't stop helping them to gain first downs off of penalty yards. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
And when we weren't helping them with penalty yards, right? We weren't helping them. You had Pierre Desir getting beat like he stole something. Yes, he had two interceptions, right? He had one, you know, where he he was he just toe tapped barely and got out of bounds with it, and 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 that was a that was an interception. And then he ran one back for a pick six. But he gave up 138 yards and two TDs. So yeah, you got interceptions. Two interceptions, but you're killing us on the other end. One of those catches, he literally gets mossed. He gets mossed by a rookie, Jerry Judy. Look, I'm not disrespecting Jerry Judy. He's a phenomenal talent. He's a rookie. We signed you and we brought you in to be our number one corner and you're getting abused by a rookie? When he wasn't getting beat by him, he was getting beat by Tim Patrick. I don't even know who the hell that guy is. I have no clue. Some guy, some big guy just running around, dusting Pierre Desir like it was nothing. This defense was terrible. Complete trash. They gave up big play after big play after big play. Gordon had a big run. They were just, they just couldn't stop anything. They could not get out of their own way. The defense was so undisciplined. And Greg Williams, that's that heat on your seat is turning up. This defense has been terrible. Terrible. First start, Ripon's first start, and he just lights us up. Lights us up. We just gave up big play after big play, man. I want to go to the offense. Sam Darnold came out. He had a big 46-yard run. Broke away from some folks. Uh, broke away from a couple guys. And was able to get out in the, in the field and just took off and did what he needed to do. Got down the field, scored a touchdown. Everything after that just tumbled downhill. Makai Becton was put out there with a shoulder injury. I talked about this before. I literally talked about this in a video. And I said, hey, the one thing I don't want to see is this guy be put out there if he's not 100%. He's one of the shining spots in our offense. What looks like he could be, you know, there's a possibility he might be a franchise guy. Let's just let him heal up. Don't put him out there if he's not ready. What Adam Gaze and the staff do? Oh, they put his ass out there. That shoulder's not right. That dude was out there for, uh, you know, some plays, and they put his ass right on the bench because he couldn't play. Who knows when he's going to come back. He might have aggravated the shoulder injury he has, made it worse. Speaking of shoulder injuries, Sam Darnold in this game gets picked up, slung around, and slammed, which was insane to me. That is a penalty. If that happens to anyone else in the league, that's a penalty. Drew Brees, Tom Brady, and Rodgers, that's a penalty. It happens to the Jets, nobody gives a damn. Sam Darnold goes out for a second. They actually take him to the locker room. He comes back from the locker room, uh, you know, finds his way back in. Continues to go out there and try to make plays. But after Beckton left, the offensive line was horrific. Van Roten, you always run your damn mouth like 90 going north. You're trash. You should shut the hell up. We should never hear from you ever again. You are the worst offensive lineman we have. You should not be talking ever. I'm tired of, I'm tired of this team. They were getting Sam blasted. Kalen Balaj missing blocks as well. Gave up two sacks. One of those, oh my God, one of those sacks, number 47 from, from, from Denver just came in and just smacked Sam on a blitz. Just came in and just drilled him. The offense just couldn't keep things going. I mean, Smith, uh, he showed us some promise. He made some decent catches. Crowder made some solid plays as well. But the offense in the red zone, we just kept stuttering, kept sputtering. And, of course, none other. Adam Gaze, ladies and gentlemen. His play calling was atrocious. My God, it was atrocious. Halfback dives, 
for Frank Gore. You guessed it. I mean, just the play calling was terrible. But I, I want to go to one critical spot in the game. Again, it signifies exactly what Adam Gaze is about. We come down. Pierre Desir runs the ball back after the interception, scores a touchdown. It's a pick six. We're down two. Adam Gaze calls the two-point conversion. I'm okay with that. Then he proceeds to call the worst two-point conversion play call I've ever seen in my life. That play was trash. It was complete trash. We literally snack, snatched defeat out of the jaws of victory. We did it. We, we found a way to lo lose this game. Ripping through some interceptions late in the game to keep us in it. We had three turnovers, and we just we couldn't do anything. We were stifled in the red zone. We couldn't get it done. The penalty yards killed us, extended their drives. We gave up big plays to swing right after. They were able to get, again, that, that, that big run by Melvin Gordon to really close it out. And then the, the thing that really killed me was in the game was clearly out of reach. We were down two scores. You got guys trying to take cheap shots at the Broncos quarterback. <laughs> this team, this team's an embarrassment, man. It's complete embarrassment. And being a Jets fan makes me sick. I want you folks to comment down below. I just wanted to hit a couple points. I can talk about that, that big return that we gave up, that man had to tackle. Our, if our punter didn't tackle that guy, he was going to the house easily. I can talk about a couple more things, but you know I'm I'm not gonna give this I'm not gonna give this garbage ass team any more of my time. I'm just not. It makes me sick. So you folks comment down below. Let me know what you folks think about this garbage ass performance by the New York Jets. Do you think we're the worst team in the league? I've heard people think saying that they think we're gonna go 0 and 16. That we're not gonna win one game this season. Give me your thoughts about Sam Darnold, Adam Gaze, who still has not been fired. Why? Who knows? That's, well, I know why. Because we have the worst owners in all of sports. Give me your thoughts about Sam Darnold, how he played, because now he's dealing with an AC joint sprain as well. We'll see what they do going forward with his injury. Give me your thoughts about this defense. How do you feel about the defense? How do you feel about how they play? Quinn and Williams, Pierre Desir. <sighs> Beside myself. So embarrassed to be a fan of this football team. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to have Adam Gaze my head coach, and I'm embarrassed that the Johnsons are the owner, owners of the New York Jets. They're just embarrassed. This entire team is idiotic. Greg Williams, Adam Gaze, just, just go. You folks have a good one. Peace.